Hello again everyone, this is Vincent and this is episode 3 of the Battle of Britain 303 Squadron walkthrough on Congregate. I'm going to show you some of the achievements which I achieved earlier on my failed attempts. They are Mercies for the Weak, shooting down 5 parachuting enemies. I'll be demonstrating that in part during this video. And Ace Pilot, Veteran Pilot and Legendary Pilot, which is to shoot down 10, 25 and 50 planes respectively. Which we'll probably get because most likely we'll fail a mission a few times. Uh, mission 3 is the first mission to introduce bombers as an enemy target and they're special because if they reach the far left side of the map you automatically fail the mission because the bombers get through and bomb places you don't want bombed so therefore they're a high priority target So there's that conversation tip about firing on bailed out pilots and how now we're sort of morally justified in doing so because it's more, more humane to, to shoot them with guns rather than let them freeze to death in the English Channel but there's not really nothing stopping you in the early missions from shooting out their bailed pilots it's just Air Force etiquette that you don't fire on bailed out pilots. Um, there's a conversation tip about um, bombers and their gun turrets. Ignore it because as far as I've played this game um, you cannot shoot the gun turrets out of a bomber so don't try it. Just if you're trying to take out a bomber just approach it from below or directly behind. Don't fly above it otherwise you'll get hit by the um, gun turret and they hurt a lot. So now we've just um, got two fighters behind us. Oh, and the reason I broke formation earlier was um, because most of the time planes will spawn at a set distance relative to you. So the further right I fly, the further right the bombers spawn, so I have slightly more pursuit time to get them. And, and on that note, um, you shouldn't fly too high when bombers will spawn because bombers can, fl can fly um, above 5,000 on the altimeter, which is a bit OP, I know, but if that happens, you're basically screwed because you can't follow them up there because that's the auto-stall zone, and, um, and the bombers just get through, so you might as well restart. Now I've got a four fighter squadron behind us. Yeah, that guy just tried tailing me. Yeah, um, the fighter doesn't, the German fighter doesn't do its normal evasive fainting maneuver because because it's too close to the ground. The German fighters will never fly below 400 feet. They'll always pull out, which is a really neat exploit, especially for um the last mission or even just the next mission. Or if you're getting tailed, doing a close to ground forward loop will throw them off. 
and as a general rule, um, do not do the throttle when when you're doing a close to ground loop because the throttle will increase your turn radius and that might be the difference between pulling out of the turn and, cra turn and crashing into the ground. But as a general rule, when not using the throttle, you can do it safely, do a um, forward roll. When you start at five, when you're starting horizontal at 500 on the altimeter and you do the forward roll and you should and, and when you pull out of the turn you should end up below 400 feet you'll lose a bit of altitude okay so now that last fight has gone down and there should be a script event happening sometime now I'm just going to be pushing to the right to make the next wave of bombers easier. So that script event is a um, a, f a German fighter just appears out of the middle of nowhere and starts tailing one of your characters. Um, don't worry, your characters can't die unless it's scripted. They will just have a lot of smoke billowing out, and in all in intents and purposes in the game, they are dead because um, and German fighters won't reattach them, won't target them if they've lost their target. When they're when they're pr practically dead, and the um practically dead wingmen won't fire on enemy fighters. So now we've got a wave of bombers with a fighter escort, and it most and most of the time you'll be alone taking down the bombers because your wingmen are too stupid to go for the bombers. They'll just get um distracted by the fighters. So you just have to um do the bombers yourselves. Oh gosh. And just, um, bombers will... Oh, I've got help. Just pull out just to get a better approach angle. Bombers will drop two parachuting enemies, whereas fighters will drop one. Oh, thanks a lot for that. You actually did something useful for once. Oh gosh, the inevitable happens when you cross paths and you fly in front of some someone else's fighter. The reason why I was strafing there is because of my lag. Don't worry about that. Ah, I missed the fat parachute. <laughs> yep, so now the German fighter from the middle of nowhere makes a reappearance, chasing me. Don't try out running him because you can't, even if you've got the throttle on, if he's chasing after you, he will outrun you. So if he gets a bit too close for comfort, as in the approximately 300 feet or 350 feet, Mo, just do a forward roll and that should um, buy you enough time to, buy you enough time to, um, not get shot. And the forward roll works especially here because the German, the, even this German fighter won't follow you below 400 feet, 400 on the altimeter I mean.